this is like an absolute. It's not even like how is it that she doesn't want to give you the phone? That that to me is more of a mystery. When I say, hey, give me your phone, there's no room in there for, for no. And this is goes back into this video for the guys who are, are like in my um ZB, you're in my whatchamacallit. You you're in my membership. You're in the membership. Remember I talked about testing submission. That's in there. So the answer is already there. Speaking in apples absolutes. There's no option. Give me your phone. Let me use your phone. What? Why? No. Why not? Uh, because I got sisters in there. Delete it. Delete. Why are you keeping pictures of sisters in your phone? Don't make sense. I don't keep pictures of brothers in my phone. You know what I mean? Don't make any sense. It's a lame excuse. Let me use your phone. I want to. I want to make a phone call. What? Why? What? Hmm? Hmm? Oh, look at your phone. Can, let me see it. That that right there is a massive red flag. It's oh, yeah. a huge red flag. I have my phones. My wives can look at them, but I advise them. I'm like, don't go look, don't go asking questions you don't want answers to. There are messages from my wives that you definitely shouldn't read. There are pictures of my wives in there that you definitely shouldn't see. You're gonna be jealous because this wife's got this and you ain't got that. You got this and she ain't got that. And I understand how you work, it's gonna destroy you. Do you really want to end our relationship over wanting to go through my phone? See, it's different with your phone and her phone, especially if you're a polygynous man. But that she won't give you the phone, bro, that's a massive red flag. That's, that's huge. Why not? What is in there that's so secretive that I, as your husband, can't see it? Why wouldn't you give me the phone? So when she doesn't want to give you the phone, bro, you got to really start looking at like what's going on and what your options are for the future, because this is a level of mistrust. This is a level of like something being covered up and hidden to the point that you need to really question the validity of your, not the validity, but the, let me, what's the word I'm looking for? The stability of your marriage. Mm. She's literally saying, I would rather keep my phone secret then keep you happy. Think yeah. about that. Yeah. I this mean, is more important than you. How? Yeah, so it's, there's a lot going on there. First thing and foremost, you have to communicate that to her. If, if your spidey senses are, I, like, I want to know, like, how do you deal with what's the one to give you the third phone? Well, the question, the first question, question I have it's is why you want the phone in the first place. It's probably because you're sensing something, right? And typically, if your spidey senses are going off, there's usually something there. You need to pay attention to that. Secondly, if she's refusing outright, point blank, exactly as Akhi Abdurrahman said just now, why is she refusing outright, point blank? All this nonsense of, oh, I got sisters in there? No, rubbish. I don't believe you for a second. Because nope. you know you can go in there, delete the picture, then give me the phone, right? So if you're not willing to do that, that's that's just a, a, a an obstacle she's putting in front of you. Yeah, there's bigger problems there, my bro. There's bigger problems yeah. there. Uh, it, know, it's kind of know. difficult to deal with. Let me say this. The, I know I didn't give you a clear answer. It's almost impossible to deal with because you can't force her to give it to you. But right there for me as Abu American, and this is where guys are going to get mad at me. Now right here, because she refuses, this automatically puts her on like, this puts you on, this puts you on death watch for Abu American. This is death watch. I'm like, okay. I see we're going to have to start stuffing your stuff in a, in a trash bag right now. I mean, we're really going to have to, you know, and, and just throw it in the trunk and take you to your parents' house. We're, we're mm -hmm. going to have to figure something out here because this right here, now, now you've got me on high alert. Mm. And this can't stand. I'm not going to be walking around here like, you know, every time she's in the corner, you know, she's putting her face down. She, she you know, their phones never face up. Then I start watching for other stuff. It it's automatically puts you and the relationship on a bad footing. So what constructive advice then can we give the brother to go away with right now? He needs something to go away with. What can we give him to walk away with at this moment right now? This is you. What would you do, Abdurrahman? If you're not willing to end a relationship, drop the subject. That's heavy. Once again, that's heavy. If you're not willing to walk away, you ain't got no power. Just, yeah, if you're not willing to actually draw that line in the sand on this in specific, walk away. Just walk away from the topic. It's really, it's really, it's, it, this is a, this is one of those serious things right there. Cause like I said, my wives can look at my phone. They can look at my phone. They know I talk to women. I make it no secret. I don't want them to hurt. I don't want them to feel hurt. 
because they're women and I care about their emotions. You know, regardless of how much of a savage people think I am, you know, I'm like, if you want to look at it, look at it. But understand that, you know, there's always somebody in line waiting to take your place. And she's in my phone. Now, do you want to see that? I don't think you do. But if you want to look at it and hurt yourself, then fine. If you want to freak out and you want to try and have like a conniption fit and then have me, you know, drive off to Austria for three days while you calm down, we can do that. You know, but I'd, I'd rather not. Now, you, on the other hand, cannot be entertaining other men because you can't have two husbands. But I can have four wives. You know, so for me right there, that's, I don't know. There's there's nothing in a phone worth my relationship, including these other women. If it came down to me actually like, you know, this is a woman I really, really, really want. <laughs> I'm just, I don't, it'd be, she'd have to be spectacular. And I say, you know what? All right, fine. Go ahead and take a look at it. If this is like that important, you know what I'm saying? Where it's going to end a relationship that I think is more important than whatever's in my phone. And most of the relationships are. And that's why I'm open about my phone. You know, I'm going to let her see the phone. Because there's nothing in my phone that's more important than my wife. There's no woman on my phone or anything in my phone that's going to take her place or come above her unless she becomes a wife and she becomes a better wife. But mm. I don't know. Who are you people? And so if she can't take that stance for you, there's nothing in my phone that's more important to you that I that, that you know what? I would rather jeopardize what's in my phone than jeopardize my relationship with you. You've got a serious problem that needs to be dealt with. She's willing to jeopardize her relationship with you for her phone. That's massive, homie. Mm, mm, mm. That's that's that that's that should hurt in my humble estimation. Yeah, I'm like easy for you, 